Peace and blessings, family. Sister Audra Lee, I can't use StreamYard for a little while because they want to charge me because I recorded over 20 hours, I guess, of uh, audio and video through them. And I ain't got no $35 a month to be paying for that. So we'll just have to go with the pictures, which are fine enough. This particular meme was done by Dana Durnford on his channel, Nuclear for Dummies, which is this one right over here. You know, there's only one planet. I always say this because I know Dana does not like a white person, does not like the idea of us having our own sovereignty, even though, even though there are so many separate countries in Europe that separated over even just the geography over there it's different than the geography over here, so we're two different people. That's okay if it's white people. It's not okay if it's black us because they have just a spiritual terror of just us being like them. And historically, we've never, ever, ever been like them. If we were, there would be no planet right now, which is what they've brought into being. But I am still grateful to Dana Durnford for telling the truth about Fukushima. I recommend, I don't, I can only listen to him so much and every now and then because I've studied so much that I'm grateful he keeps going over the subject matter as I do because it must be done. They are targeting black us specifically. No, black people and white people, we are not the same at all. The history proves that and the current agenda to genocide us specifically, they don't mind if they have to kill bunches of white people because that's also part of uh, the plan strategy is to have deniability so that you don't get exposed for the genocide that you're committing. They recognize that when they do out and out genocide, the whole world looks at them and starts calling them devil. But when they hide it, they can even hide it from black us so that when people hear what I'm warning you about, you think, oh, she's still talking about that. That's because the radiation don't give a damn about whether or not you may get a little bit overwhelmed. It's still going to be in the food. And, and I'll go over that because I don't want this to be long. But anyway, he lays out the details of the ridiculousness of this article right here. I don't think he's covering this article specifically, but I just saw this and I was like, oh, God damn, these people are too much. And forgive me, but I just have to say that that way. But wave of colon cancers in young people may be fueled by surprising factor linked to mental health. This is the old psychosomatic <laughs> reasons that the doctor will give when he's too stupid. Oftentimes, not every time, some people can genuinely be hypochondriac. And oh my goodness, did they give the hypochondriacs reasons to shout hallelujah with all the scandalademic stuff. I see some of them still walking around with the old mask on, even though if you read the warnings on the box itself, it says this is not going to stop viral infections. There's a whole bunch of stuff I could get into there, but I'm not going to right now. Um, and so the psychosomatic <laughs> reasoning when the doctors oftentimes cannot find any uh, reason or vector uh, that would be creating the symptoms in their patients and sometimes the patients will come back you know three months a year later and they'll find out that oh gee you got cancer they didn't catch it early on they've actually been uh warned by the american medical association to stop what they call over diagnosing cancers that's why oftentimes in the news you'll see people are like oh my goodness i went in and i had stage four cancer and then in two months they're dead this is a war strategy and they're looking for every single asinine reason to explain away the 
massive surge in young people specifically dying of all causes, including heart attacks, and something you never saw, but I had showcased Dr. Yuri Bandashevsky's study that he did on Chernobyl victims. He did autopsies on them. He was put in jail for seven years because he was just proving what he was showcasing in terms of the damage it does to the human body and that it especially affects the children. And so this excuse here that it's, you know, it's psychosomatic, it's mental health, it's stress and anxiety may partly explain why colon cancers are surging in younger generations of Americans, a study suggests. These people who conduct these studies, when you do the research, you find out that the ones that don't even cover radiation's impact are paid for by these societies like the American Medical Association, the International Atomic Energy Agency, the World Health Organization, they're paid for. And these people, as I read in the book, oh my goodness, the crime of Chernobyl, the nuclear gulag written by Vladimir Chertkov, this, I mean, it lays it out in exacting detail what happened. I highly recommend this book. I'm going to give you my book list also uh, because these dudes want to hide the carnage of Fukushima when I've got plenty of documentation also, but they just took my larger channel down and I don't have time. I also don't have funding uh, so that I can do as necessary uh, just analysis and, and re-documentation as must be done because these dudes, the devil never stops lying. We cannot afford as there are radioactive isotopes that stay hot in your body for upwards of 450 billion years. You're going to be dead. Yeah, you're going to be dead, but that sucker is going to still be affecting all of your progeny uh, for a time memorial, right? And we, because we know, we are capable of getting to know, we have to protect our only future possible. When you want our ancestors, if this had been happening, when you want them to protect us, protect you and me, of course. And so I highly recommend this book. I highly recommend all of the books that are in my book list. And this is Deadly Deceit, Low-Level Radiation, High-Level Cover-Up by J.M. Gould and Benjamin A. Goldman. The documentation that shows these people are lying. They're lying, they're lying, they own the media. And the result, as I predicted so long ago, long before any scandalademic thing was going on and they're having problems because that was an epic failure because black us who you noticed that they were like oh this thing seems to affect black people the most i ain't see no ambulances up on my block I, I, for fukushima it's gonna happen and that's why they need something to mask it because there's cures there's cures so in this list these books are absolutely astounding. These books are going to document exactly, you know, the history. This is not my imagination, what these people are doing. This isn't psychosomatic on my part, all right? So just pause the video, look through the books, especially, oh my goodness, one of the other ones that is just really... Astounding is Behind the Fog, How the U.S. Cold War Radiological Weapons Program Exposed Innocent Americans by Lisa Martino Taylor. What I found with these books is you can't just read one in order to understand the complete and total dynamics of man-made radiation. You have to read like uh, 10 or 15 of these suckers in order, like the pet cow effect, the devastating effect of nuclear radiation on human health and the environment. It's so that you could know guinea, GI guinea pigs, how the Pentagon exposed their troops to dangers more deadly than war, Agent Orange and atomic radiation. This is not guesswork. They know about this stuff. That's why they're working overtime 
to hide the effects because they mention everything. Now they're down to, it's all in your head. That's why you got cancer, right? They mention everything, but they never, ever mention radiation. And even found this article in one of their publications, Wired. This is just, these are news venues that, I'm sure, I don't know. I'm not accusing Wired of anything, but I'm just saying the CIA operation paperclip, they're all up in the media, right? They get their marching orders from the CIA. And the CIA, oh boy, that's like, that's outside of the U.S. government. That is a rogue organization there to protect white men's financial hegemony. That's what it's there for. So in this article, it was the same thing they said in, in Fukushima. Nine years on, Fukushima's mental health fallout lingers. They're blaming any issues that happen. They, say, they even said nobody died. Nobody. It's all in their heads. Some radiation experts would say women such as Ida are unduly worried about radiation. Paranoid even. What the? Stop. Can you say war strategy, anybody? Because what? All these people? Dr. Ernest Sternglass was paranoid? No, he had the documentation. Secret fallout. Secret fallout. Okay? The making of the... That's just, you know, one that I have. But this one right here, after reading, I've read bunches of these guys, I realized we needed to have up to date as to the moment cures and remedies. Because when I, the more I research, the more I realize that's what they're depending on. They're depending on our ignorance of radiation so that we don't ask any questions when reason after reason gets more ridiculous with every single excuse for the, the death, the slaughter of everybody's children. This right here, Parent Heart Watch. There's so, just way too many of Black Us on here. Boy 11 collapses and dies playing basketball. I was talking about this back in 2018. 2018, long before anything. Not bef the who. I, I've been talking about it before the who said this, but they said there's going to be, right? This is a refresh report. But back in here, right down here, in 2022, the World Health Organization said that there was going to be, I saw a 70% increase. They've upped it to 77%. So it's, it's on board with the Georgia Guidestones, right? And speaking about them having this stuff in the food, the language on this, oh, just notification to the whole world that was never covered in any major newspaper, uh, that the FDA is deactivating import alert. So all food from Fukushima is coming straight to us. And I've warned us about the sea moss, about the radioactive rice. And now the canned salmon. It's canned because it can't get any salmon radioactive enough out of the Pacific Ocean. Because they're dead. They're dead. The orcas that used to feed off the salmon are now feeding off the sea lions and the whales. They never ate that. And the dolphins. They never ate stuff like that before. But they don't want to starve to death. I'm just saying. It is what it is. So they're not saying there's no more radiation in the food. They're just saying they ain't going to tell you about it. So, God bless all the anti-nukers, the white ones, for telling the truth about man-made radiation and keeping it going year after year after year when so many have just given up. But we can't. I'm not. I need your help to be even more effective in what I do. So go to 25,000 yearcycle.org and get your heel on because that's something that I share that nobody else is sharing even in all of those books that I put up there that I highly recommend you get to reading because you need more than me going on about this I'm not upset about it as for some reason it's just is on me uh, but I'm just saying that that kind of makes it more difficult to reach as many as 
or even passing right now. That's, wow, that's awful. And we could do so much better than just to watch our loved ones just go. And it's not going to be because you're crazy, I'm crazy. No, the devil is crazy. So come on over here. Dr. She has provided a link. Ajalisha Baz right on up in there and get your healing done. I got my silk care cream. I got my soap, which is amazing. Thank you. I know you don't mind, brother. I don't, I know other people might not mind, like, I, but I don't mention names because it's obvious every single big channel I went to and told them about radiation, it must be so scary. They must be so scared of it that they didn't say a thing. So I was like, you know what? I'm not going to put that on just regular people when you assist me. So I don't divulge your names. But thank you, Brother Jacob, for your order. Brother Ali, Sister J, you are brave. You are brave, bold, warrior people. And I love you for that. I'm never going to stop. No, no, no. But I'm just saying this soap is amazing everybody who said so if you the people who order my soap wind up reordering it uh, but for those of you if you've never bought my soap you got to experience this okay and then all my books this one especially furnace of affliction you need that book and then there's this black this black nation is the sequel there's a t-shirt so we could assist each other in getting awareness about fukushima out that was designed by brother chris miller my covers were all designed by brother yapo yapa amazing brother who did the research and realized she's not kidding and then he just this first cover right here he just gifted it with to me i was amazed I stared at this for like, I don't know, maybe three days straight because it was gorgeous, right? But now I pay him for the covers because he deserves it. I honor the work that he's done, right? I honor how he's helped me to further the authority of what I'm sharing, what I'm trying to do. So black man, black man, help me. There's Dr. She. I wouldn't even have a website up here without that amazing, mighty king. Okay? But I need you. I need you to go on out to this website and keep us sharing the warning so we can own a viable planet. Because what Fuka, oh my goodness, let me stop. I could go on and on and on. And goodness gracious, I wish I could, you know, like be on camera, but I can't. It is what it is for the moment. I don't know how long until I can be back on camera, but Straight Black Pride is our map to forever. Love you, family. Peace and blessings.